This is uh, only our uh, fourth night on the air, and I guess by now everybody in the country knows that we have one of these. But uh, they say, what else do you have back there, Dave? Well, we also have one of these. So... Okay, my next guest... It'll, it'll turn off in just a minute. I think that answers the question, why don't other talk shows have one of those? Uh, well, drive safely. Thanks for watching. Good night. Uh, Second City TV is a comedy show which uh, emanates in Toronto, Canada, and for a while it was being done out of Edmonton, uh, Canada, I believe. Uh, it's a terrific show, and it's uh, on every Friday evening at 12.30 here at NBC, and perhaps one of the uh, uh, fastest, uh, most... Uh, 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 well, I'm lost here. Let me just start over. <laughs> Quickly becoming one of the most popular comedy programs on the air without a siren. The magic... The magic of SCTV is attributed to the fine writing and performing. That's certainly the truth. Uh, two of those folks are with us tonight, John Candy and Joe Flaherty. you gentlemen to be here. I'm, I'm uh, desperately sorry that I botched your introduction. What I was sorry. trying to say is uh, this is a show that uh, I have been a big fan of for a long, long time before it moved to uh, uh, NBC. And uh, the little remark there in the uh, opening uh, about it being a perfect match of great writing and great performing, I think, is uh, the hallmark of that show. And uh, you folks should be congratulated on that. Tell us about yourselves, eh? As they say. Uh, Joe, you Toronto. are from originally not Canada, somewhere else? Or yeah, from Pittsburgh. Canada? I'm yeah. from Pittsburgh, PA. And... Uh, <laughs> That's it. <laughs> ah, Pittsburgh. Uh, how did you get involved with the, the, a... the Canadians from uh, Pittsburgh? Well, I went uh, up to Canada to work with the theater company, the SETV. No, it was uh, Second City, Second mm -hmm. City Cabaret, and we wanted to open a theater up there, so we went up and uh, cast some people, very good people up there. And I was surprised to see the talent uh, just sort of floating around in Toronto. Matter of fact, Paul Schaefer, your musical mm -hmm. director, was up there at the time doing yeah. Godspell. Hey, Paul, how are you? Yes. You <laughs> uh, shut up. <laughs> and uh, and uh, we cast uh, John and Eugene Levy and uh, um, let's see who else was up there at the time. Gilda Radner and Danny Aykroyd. That was they were in the original stage show. Yeah. So. Uh, from there, it was. What is geez. what is SCTV or S uh, Second City? What is that for people who don't may not really know what the organization is out of Chicago? Oh, you want me to say it? Sure, John. Why don't you try one of these? <laughs> oh, okay, that's a tough one, though. Uh, Second City started in Chicago in 1959. It was originally uh, came out of the University of Chicago when it was the West Compass Players. It was uh, the University of Chicago didn't have a theater department, and they created their own. Uh, they being uh, Elaine May, Mike Nichols, Severin Darden, Del Close, Bernie Sollins, uh, Sheldon Patinkin. There was a lot of people who uh, I think Ed Asner was was. Part of that, Shelley Berman, Harry Truman, Harry yeah. Truman was part of that. <laughs> he had great stuff. A lot. Of, oh, he, he was, was terrific, funny. The yeah. blackouts he came up with. Oh. <laughs> Little known fact about him: the group scenes that he did, you know, were very risque at the time. Is that and, right? Uh, he was very, very, very funny man. What, what was the? Uh, what's the? the Learned a lot from him. <laughs> Uh, what was the, in fact, some said that you were the next Harry Truman for a yes, while. Yes, they did yeah. for a long time. And, uh, it's been a curse on my back. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, and, uh, I've been yeah, trying to change that. I've been trying to change that. But damn it, you can't sometimes. No, no, I know. People won't get off, you know? Yeah. Uh, what is... <laughs> What, what does a Second City refer to? What was the, what does that mean? Second City? What? Uh, it was an article, I think, in the uh, New York Times, wasn't it? There were uh, 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 New Yorker magazine. New Yorker magazine, yeah. uh, saying Chicago was second to New York in everything, mm -hmm. uh, in every way. Which I don't know if everyone believes that or not. Chicago's a fine town. <laughs> it is. Toronto a fine is town. a fine town, also, where yes. you guys are now doing yeah. the show. Pittsburgh's a fine town. I Pittsburgh <laughs> is all right too. <laughs> Didn't get a huge response. <laughs> what about Monterey? Monterey, beautiful yeah. place. Um, now, when you were Queensville, doing... another place where I'm from. Well, Queensville. Mm -hmm. and this is uh, in Ontario, yeah. outside of Toronto. Yeah. Uh, tell me about doing the show from. <laughs> no one. No one from Queensville. 
Tell me about doing the show from Edmonton. Is this, is this well, where we, the last cycle of shows came out of there? Yeah. We're notorious for uh, selling out to the lowest bidder, you know? <laughs> <laughs> we ended up there. Now, how does that no, happen? No. This is a major a network television extravaganza, and they're doing it in Edmonton, a city of how big? Oh, geez, it's uh, 800,000 people now. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> well, it's growing every day. It's, it's a big city. <laughs> it's Boomtown. <laughs> Edmonton. <laughs> <laughs> While we look up the exact population of Edmonton, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with John Candy and George Lyle. Thank you. Paul Schaefer. Welcome back to the show. Joe Flaherty, uh, John Candy are here, and uh, we were just... Uh, SCTV was uh, the last season of shows produced in uh, Edmonton. Yeah. Now, uh, again, that's not really Los Angeles or New York or any of the cities that we mentioned uh, how did it end up there, and what was it like doing it there? One Either of the one of you guys. One, or of you the, one of the owners of the show. Uh, our show is like the, the movie The Producers. Uh, <laughs> kind of a tax deal. <laughs> a number of, number of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm being bitter. <laughs> <laughs> didn't come through with that per diem. <laughs> I can say that now. My lawyers talk to me. I'm clear. <laughs> one of the owners, Dr. Allard, owns a TV studio in Edmonton, mm -hmm. and uh, as a result, that's where we did the show. It was his, it was his, his studio, that's where we worked. Yeah. It was it a, a nice, uh, enormous yeah. complex? Not an enormous know, complex. It's, it's, it's nice. very small, tiny little place. Mm -hmm. the, the staff and crew there were great, and yeah. the director there, yeah. uh, John Blanchard, incidentally, who, shot, who shoots all of our stuff, he's, he's really good. The show looks terrific. Yes. You would not guess that it comes out of anything uh, less than a first Right operation. Oh, the city takes a bad rap, you know, but it's a real nice city and uh, there's good people there. Yeah. Everybody was working real hard any, on the show. Any problems with doing a show out of Edmonton? Uh, getting people there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we're begging a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. That's true. The technology in Edmonton is okay? Uh, well, yeah. for the, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's a very modern city. It's, it's a boom town. It's, it's just sprung up. It's, there's oil there. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Uh, they got color TV last year. <laughs> That's real nice. <laughs> what about the control room? Did you ever have any trouble with the, uh... With the control room? Jeez, no, not really. You know, there was some... Uh... <laughs> was, was that on one of those? I don't know. Ah, oh, the control room. <laughs> we copied these and distributed them to the audience and our guests, and, uh... There was, uh... You never had trouble with, the uh, uh, hockey coverage? Uh... Oh, on Wednesdays, yeah. There you on go. Wednesdays. <laughs> You should have just said hockey. I was, oh, uh, hockey was I the I know word, that was huh? my cue, hockey. Okay. It was the Edmonton Oilers. Our crew would leave on Wednesdays to cover their game. Oh, yeah. So we were, we'd just kind of hang around. <laughs> and we'd wait till they got back, and then we'd shoot somewhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I love your show. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look at some uh, video videotape. Of, I guess this would be a night when the control room was there, huh? Uh, I, would, I hope so. This, uh, what you want to tell us what we're going to see, Joe? Or? Oh yeah, this is a Thursday night, so this is fine. We were, uh, we did a Godfather parody, <laughs> and uh, this he'll is back terrific. He'll, by he'll, the way. Back yeah. up on John this. will back yeah. me up on yeah. this because uh, he's a beautiful, beautiful. Thank you human so being. much. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> we did a, a parody of the Godfather. I was uh, Guy Caballero and uh, the president of the yeah. imaginary station SCTV. And my personal life was somewhat like The Godfather. Now, in the movie, there was a scene with Al Martino and uh, Marlon Brando. Brando was The Godfather and Martino was uh, his godson. And um, we did a takeoff on that. I was, uh, I was playing the Brando part. John was playing my godson, but he was Johnny Pavarotti, uh, Luciano Pavarotti type. So, and this is that scene between the two of them when he's asking him for I need a, favor. a favor. Okay, so this is what we're going to see. This was on SCTV recently. Yeah. John Candy, Joe Flirt. This part in this war opera is perfect for me. Mm. But this conductor, this letter Bernstein, he don't like me. He's saying the part is no good for me. I'll never get the part. <laughs> don't come here. What am I going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Don't come here. What am I going to do? You can act like a man. That's what you can do. Now you leave this to me and within a month I promise you you'll have that part. Well, a month is no good. They start rehearsals at the Met on Monday. Mm. Well, look, I'm going to talk to Tom Hagen, my consigliere. Mm. I'll send him to New York. He'll talk to this Leonard Bernstein fella. Well, this Bernstein, he's a tough guy. He won't listen to anybody, you know. 
Yes, he will. I'm going to make him an offer that I think will be to his liking. Don't come again. I don't know how to thank you. If ever there's anything you want me to do for you, just don't hesitate to ask me. Well, you can start by uh, offering me some of that provolone. No way. Come on, give me a little bite then. No. Come on, share that. Come on, come on. We're going to pause here. Uh, we'll be back in a couple of minutes to talk some more with John Kennedy and Joe Florida. back, uh, Joe Flaherty and John Candy from SCTV. There are seven people performing on the show. Yeah. Do people write most of the material that you perform? A lot of it. Yeah, not all of it. We do have writers that help. Mm -hmm. It's uh, It would be impossible, I think, to write and perform a 90-minute show yeah. every week. Do you, do you write things exclusively for yourself, or will you write something for John and vice versa? Or Yeah, we um, we write pretty much for everybody, you know. Um, it's uh, That's the good thing about it, is I can write a scene for John because I've worked with him so long, yeah. and he, vice versa. Yeah. Although, is there a, a pretty good relationship up there, fist fights now, or are people uh, no, grabbing a, hair? a knife work? every now and then, but really it's, <laughs> it's, it's nothing really, you know. Uh, is that, uh, uh, now this show has actually been in production for a long time, hasn't it? Since 75. Yeah. It was yeah. 75, Six. 76, Six. Yeah. yeah. We got the idea in 75, too. Yeah. It's a while to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrific. We have another piece of videotape that we want to get to before we yes. have to uh, leave. All right. Joe, um, will you set this? You want me to set that one? Okay. This is just like the old uh, Merv show, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> we got to lean forward like that. Oh, this, we brought this up. <laughs> we brought this up uh, <laughs> because... <laughs> because Barry Sand, your producer, was a produced our show too right. for a while there, and then he left to produce the show. Tape. <laughs> okay, so here's right, Barry. Fine. Number eighty-three, take two. Cut. All right, we'll take five and try it again. Thank you. Hello, I'm John Houston. I've been directing Shelley Winters all day long. And what do they give me? Light beer. Here, Mr. Houston, try the cow. The cow? Sure, the great malt liquor from Blitz. I wonder why they call it the cow. She's loose! Give me that cake! Where are you, Mr. John Candy, Joe Flaherty, you guys are terrific. The entire show is terrific. And we have to pause for station identification.